Um, one of the main challenges facing a business of the size of Tesco is when you do get that big, where do you go for further growth? So I think they've looked at um, Giraffe and, and it gives them two opportunities. The first is that it takes them into a new area, um, it's outside of retail and more into that food service. And, and that's really a, um, a fresh challenge for them, it's a fresh new area and that will help them grow sales. And secondly, it also adds a little bit more to their stores. Um, they've looked at how people are shopping now, um, in malls and so on, and it is more about the whole experience of the day out. And so this will give them something to add to their stores and help them get to get people to stay longer and to spend more money. Yes, as they say, it's going to turn their stores into retail destinations rather than simply places where people go to buy goods. But are customers going to like this? Because surely part of the appeal of a place like Giraffe is that it's this uh, family-run, family-friendly restaurant founded by a husband and wife team in Hampstead. Does that really tally with the image of, of big corporate Tesco? Well, I, yes, I think there is a difficulty there in that the brands aren't necessarily the best fit. Um, but I think that is something that Tesco will have thought about and it will be something that they will address. There will be people, there will be customers that will be concerned about that, but that's why Tesco has decided to keep on the founders of the business. They will be very involved in the running. And I'm sure Tesco will be looking to leave that business as it is. So the, to the customer, it, it seems the same as it ever was. And ultimately, it will be people shopping in there that will decide that um, and, and they will be the judge of it.